Behold, the taser. But where did it come from? Meet Jack Cover, born in New York City in 1920. Although he was born in the Big Apple, Jack spent most of his childhood in Chicago, where his father taught economics. After earning a PhD in physics from the University of Chicago, Jack began working with NASA, leading a team of aerospace scientists on the Apollo moon landing project. For most people, this would be the achievement of a lifetime. Yet Jack's genius wasn't restricted to objects in orbit. After Jack read an article about a hiker who survived a run-in with high voltage from a power line, he became fascinated with designing a non-lethal immobilization device. Today, we call it the Taser, but the original name, the Thomas A. Swift Electric Rifle, came from one of Jack's favorite childhood science fiction novels. A stun gun and a Taser are nearly identical. They use a temporary, high-voltage, low-current discharge of electricity to impair the body's muscle control. There's one big difference. A Taser can hit targets from a distance. When a Taser fires, it shoots two barbed electrodes. Both barbs must connect to the person being tased in order for the person to be immobilized. The first working Taser was powered by gunpowder and qualified as a Title II firearm. The Taser's legal status made law enforcement agencies hesitant to use it. In 1993, a version using a compressed gas propulsion system was released, and the device became a commonplace tool for police officers and other law enforcement agencies. 